Hi, boys and girls. So today we are going to continue talking about how to be a good digital citizen. And we are going to focus on keeping private information private. And it's a lesson from Common Sense Education. And then we're going to read this cute story called The Hug Machine by Scott Campbell. So remember to go on Google Classroom after watching this video to fill out a participation form. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So that's private. What kinds of information should I keep to myself when I use the internet? This is what we're going to be talking about today. So what kinds of things should we not tell a stranger? Well, if you think about it, some things that you might not tell a stranger, like at a store or in a park, would be your address, your phone number, your full name. So it's important to keep some information about yourself private from strangers and people that you don't know. And so when we mean private, we mean something that you should keep to yourself. It should only be shared with somebody that you trust, like your parents, your family, or even a teacher. So a, private information is usually connected to a specific person. So in your class, there are not two people that have the exact same full name, first and last name, and the exact same phone number. So does that make sense? So out of your class or out of the whole school, there's nobody that has the same first and last name and the same phone number. So, so some information that you would want to keep private, that you wouldn't want to tell anybody, would be a picture, a picture of your face. That's private information. Um, your full name, which is your first and last name. How old you are, your birth date, your address, your telephone number, your email address, or your parents' email address, uh, passwords, um, your school name, your parents' full name, where they work, or a credit card number. This is all private information. And why do you think it's important to keep this type of information private. So let's think about that. Well, if you said because somebody could use it to trick them or put them in situations that aren't safe, um, you should always ask a parent or a caregiver before you give out any information to anyone. So just like you wouldn't tell a stranger in a store your full name and your address, you wouldn't tell somebody online your full name and your address. It's the exact same thing, unless you ask your family first and they say it's safe for you to do so. So when we mean going online, using a computer or phone or a tablet. So when you're online, you don't share this information with anybody. All right. So now we're going to play a quick game of thumbs up and thumbs down. So thumbs up means it's okay for you to share this information and thumbs down, it's not okay. So think about if it's okay to share it with a stranger, okay? So your favorite ice cream flavor, is that okay to tell a stranger or to share that information? Yeah, if you have your thumbs up, that's okay because that's not directly linked to you and that's, that's like an, that's an opinion, that's fine. All right, what you ate for dinner last night, is that okay to share? If you have your thumbs up, you're right. That is okay to share. What about your home address? 
Can you share your address with a stranger? No, put your thumb down. No, no, no. What about your best friend's favorite movie? Is that okay to share? Yeah, as long as your friend says it's okay. Yeah, that's okay to share because that's not private information. What about your mom's phone number? Oh yeah, hopefully you have your thumb down on that. That's not okay to share. We don't give out phone numbers. What about your password to something? Is that okay to share? Oh, hopefully you have your thumb down. That's not okay to share. All right, so now we have to help our little friend over here, Guts. So he's one of the digital citizens. He's the blue guy. And he just found this new app called Song, SongTube. And with SongTube, you can create your own music. So he has permission from his family to use the app, but he's being asked to fill out a form. How many of you guys have gone online and then in order to go on the website or the app, you have to fill out a form with information? Yeah, I think that's happened to a lot of people. So Guts needs your help in deciding what's okay to share and what's not okay to share. So here we go. We're going to go through each thing and then, um, whoops, that's my answers. Okay, so we're going to go through each one and if it's okay to share, we'll say okay. If it's not okay to share, um, we're going to say no. All right, so your full name, is that okay to share? Your first and last name. If you said no, you're right. That is not okay to share. What about a nickname? Can you share a nickname? If you said yes, you're right. You can share a nickname. What about your birthday? Can you share your birth date? No, if you said no, you're right. You can't share a birthday. What about your favorite song? Can you share a favorite song? Yeah, you can share your favorite song. What about uploading your picture? Can you upload your picture? No, you can't upload your picture. That's private information. What about what kind of music do you like? Can you check what kind of music you like? Yes, because that's a opinion. That's an opinion. That's fine. What about your home address? Can you can you write your home address down? No, we don't write down our home address. What about our school name? Do we write where we go to school? No, that's right, boys and girls. We do not write down our name, our school name. What about do you play an instrument? If yes, what do you play? Can you share that? Yeah, that's not private information. You can share that. And what about a parent or caregiver phone number? Can you share that? No, you cannot share that. That's right. All right, so let's look at our sheet one more time. And here we go, full name, that's private information. A nickname, yeah, that's okay. A birth date, that's private information. We don't share that. Your favorite song, yeah, that's okay. Can you upload your picture? No, that's private information. What about the music you like? Yep, you can share that. Your home address, oh, that's a big no-no, that's private. Your school name, that's private. And if you play an instrument, yeah, you can share that. And then your parents' phone number, can you share that? Nope, that's private. So I'm sure when you guys go online, you've probably seen this before. And why do you think that a website or an app would ask you for this information? Well, you know, they're not they're not all trying to get you, they're not, a lot of these websites are asking you this so they can learn more about people that use their website. So they can send them messages. Um, usually it's to sell them things. 
a lot of times they're not trying to get this information to use for bad purposes. So what you need to do is you should never fill these forms out unless you have permission from your parent or caregiver or someone in your house says, that's okay for you to do. So if, if your family says it's okay and they've seen it and they know the site, then you are all set and that's okay. You just don't fill this information out and put your private information out there if your family doesn't know that you're doing it. All right, so I hope we've learned a little bit about private information and what we don't share, just like we wouldn't tell somebody in the store our phone number and our birth date and our address. We wouldn't write it online or tell anybody online either. All right, so now we are gonna go to our story. And it is called The Hug Machine. Now, this little boy, he is the hug machine. And he has a hug checklist. He hugs a lot. Hug Machine by Scott Campbell. Whoa, here I come. I am the hug machine. I'm very good at hugging the best at hugging. No one can resist my unbelievable hugging. I am the hug machine. My hugs calm people down. They cheer them up. They make them go completely nuts. I am the hug machine. I hug everything I see. No one escapes the hug machine. My hugs make me make the biggest feel small, the smallest feel big. I hug soft things, hard things, square things, long things. I am the hug machine. Oh, do you need a hug? I think you do. Hug accomplished. There is nothing the hug machine will not hug. What about me? I am so spiky. No one ever hugs me. Ooh, I wonder what he's going to do. They are missing out. Look at that. He put on his baseball face mask. He's got cooking gloves on. Looks like a pillow around his stomach. See, oh wow, he really is a hug machine. What about me? Surely I am too big for you to hug. Ooh, let's see what he does. Of course not, not for the hug machine. Wow, that's the best hug ever. People often ask what the hug machine eats to keep the hugging energy high. Well, the answer is pizza. The hug machine likes pizza very much. Refueled and ready for action. Hug, 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 Wow, he must be exhausted. Hug. Phew. What a tiring day of hugging. The hug machine is exhausted. Hug machine can hug no more. Oh, why yes, you may hug the hug machine. Hug machine is always open for business. And here's his hug checklist. He hugged everything on his list. All right, boys and girls, I hope you liked our story, and I hope you continue to be a great digital citizen by keeping your private information private and not sharing that with anybody, either when you're in the community or when you're online. All right, guys.